Mecca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here playing Mortal Kombat 11 and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to grab one of the rarest achievements or trophies in the entire game which is called Skull Kebab for impaling a head in the warrior shrine. Now I've went through and optimized this as best as I could and the method in this video takes only about one hour to an hour and a half. Now a severed head is a key crypt item that can be unlocked through playing the towers and it's unlocked for completing a fatality against the same opponent a total of 50 times. But before you go off and do that, let me show you how to save the absolute most amount of time and give yourself the least headache. The very first and most important thing you want to do is go to the menu settings and change the amount of rounds to win a fight to one round instead of two. This will allow you to basically do a fatality in every round you ever play. Next, you want to go to Conquer, and then you can do the 50 fatalities in either of the two towers. Now, personally, I wouldn't recommend the Towers of Time, as that requires you to play two rounds, and all of the towers are timed, so if you need to take a break, the tower you're working on may disappear, and you may not be able to use the same character as you were going for earlier. Instead, I would recommend going to the Classic Towers, and then personally, I went to the Survivor Tower. Basically, you're looking for whatever character you want to do the Fatalities against to be on the lowest tier of a tower. Then you want to select that tower and select whatever character you're most comfortable using. For me, that's Liu Kang, and choose your difficulty. In order to do this as fast as possible, you're going to want to play on Very Easy. Now, you don't have to do all 50 of your fatalities against the same opponent in the same sitting. However, it is kind of optimal because you don't have to worry about the towers randomizing. Basically, every time you leave the classic towers mode completely, the towers will shuffle. So you might have to come in and out of the mode a couple of times to get the opponent you're going for to show up at the bottom of one of the towers. For the sake of this clip at the moment, we are facing Devora, and what we're going to do is go and basically get into the finish her state. At that point, we will need to perform a fatality against her. If you're not sure what your character's fatality is, go to the move list and you can pin it to your screen and then make sure you input it properly and make sure you don't end with a brutality by accident. And the next step is the most important step of this process. After you complete your fatality, you'll notice that you'll, you may or may not get an item reward. Usually you'll just get something like some time crystals if you level up. And uh, otherwise, you pretty much usually don't get anything. And then you can move on to the second fight in the tower. And that's where the magic can happen. As soon as the second fight in the tower starts, what you want to do is press pause and then go to tower select and press confirm this will basically allow you to restart the same exact tower and fight the exact same opponent so you'll see here that i kind of skip through the little cutscene, and then as soon as i gain control of my character i pause go to tower select and then confirm and again basically this allows me to restart the exact same tower i just did which allows me to fight devora again and this is the process in which I can rinse and repeat and play against Devora as many times as I need to. Also, I don't need to play on the same difficulty every time, and I don't even need to use the same character every time. I would just recommend, you know, using your best character to make this go as quickly as possible. Now, I'm actually going to transition to some Twitch gameplay of me doing this when I was streaming it over on Twitch.tv slash Mac91 Productions. I ended up going against Johnny Cage because I thought I had a couple of fatalities already against him, so I figured it would lower my grind a little bit. There are a couple of really important notes I do want to make. And I would highly recommend you listen. If you have any questions, this should answer it. Now, some people on the internet have been recommending or saying that you can get this through doing brutalities instead of fatalities. And I think it is possible. However, it seems to be a lot less reliable. Some people have reported having to do over 100 brutalities in order to get their key item to unlock. So I wouldn't recommend going for brutalities, although I guess theoretically it is possible. Additionally, this is something I haven't personally tested, but something that a few people on the internet have confirmed. It seems that it is possible to do this through AI battle. If you really want, you can select the tower, choose AI battle on very easy, and there is a decent chance that your AI will actually be able to grab the fatality for you. 
at that point you would get into the second battle and rinse and repeat so you can theoretically get this through idling however you are depending on the ai to get fatalities for you and it's going to take a lot longer but it would take a lot less of your own gameplay if you'd like to try to grind this while you do something else also, I would recommend keeping a rough count of how many fatalities you have out of 50, and if you do reach that 50 mark and you don't seem to have that severed head yet, don't worry. It seems that most people have to do a couple extra just to be sure, and make sure you're also keeping a close eye on the rewards after every fight, and eventually you should get the severed head of whatever opponent you have the 50 fatalities against. For me, it was Johnny Cage. Yeah! All right. Let's At that point, all you need to do is head out back to the main menu. Then you have to select the Crypt game mode. If you've never been into the Crypt, you have to unlock a couple of things, which are super, super easy. I'll leave a link down below if you need to figure that out. But you should be able to walk right over to the Warrior Shrine, which is not far from where the statues are, where the statue of Raiden got destroyed by the meteorite. At that point, all you need to do is find the position of the character's head that you have and place the head into the shrine this will also unlock the small chest in front of them which does have a good chance of unlocking either a victory or an intro for that character which is also needed for an achievement or trophy that is how you can impale a head in the warrior shrine thank you guys so much for watching my video i hope it was helpful special thanks to all the amazing people on patreon for supporting the show shout out to double o and hopefully i see you guys in the next one Peace.